I would eat a lot of fast food. I would buy like mac and cheese, burgers, fries, chicken, and I would pretend I was ordering for a group of people. My lowest moment was the day that I went to Six Flags with my ex-boyfriend. We got to the front of the line and I could not fit on the ride. And that was the moment I realized I needed to make a change. At my heaviest, I weighed 300 pounds. I've lost 100 pounds. I still can't believe my body can do the things that it can now. I started gaining weight in elementary school and I continued to gain weight throughout middle school. When I reached high school, I developed bulimia and binge eating disorder. The way I would deal with my struggles and emotions was to eat food. I would drive to fast food restaurants and order like one of everything on the menu basically. I would act like I was on the phone ordering for a group of friends, but I was only ordering for myself. I used to eat mac and cheese, pizza, burgers, a ton of chicken, mashed potatoes. I would take it all home and eat it alone in secret. The day that I went to Six Flags with my ex-boyfriend, um, we waited for hours to get on a ride and I could not fit on the ride. A woman yelled with a megaphone, if you can't fit on the ride, you need to get off. It was the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. I decided that I needed to make a change. My doctor asked me if I'd ever heard of weight loss surgery, so VSG. After researching and talking to different surgeons and people, I decided it was the right decision for me. There is a huge stigma surrounding weight loss surgery. People assume it doesn't take any effort on your part to lose weight, which is extremely inaccurate and untrue because maintaining is definitely the hardest part. I usually weigh out all of my foods because I like to stick to certain macros each day. I've started to do what's called reverse dieting to help me have more energy, build muscle, so I'm actually limiting my fat now and upping my carbs and protein. So for snacking, I'll do like hummus and carrots, or I eat a lot more greens now, like salads. I'll make chicken salads or kale. Much more fruits and vegetables. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. How's your meal plan so far? My mental health is better. Physically, I'm feeling better. It's just overall amazing. I had very low confidence when I was at my heaviest. I missed out on so many social events, like making memories with my friends, all kinds of things because I didn't want to be seen. Everyone gets down and has bad days um, and you want comfort. I've learned to kind of channel that towards like, let me be productive, let's get something done. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Your confidence has really changed. This was the day of my surgery, right before my surgery. Well, you look pretty happy then. It was the greatest decision I ever made to have surgery and start going to therapy. At my heaviest, I weighed 300 pounds. I've lost 100 pounds. I still can't believe my body can do the things that it can now. Um, my mind is blown. When I get on the treadmill at the gym and I'm able to go like two miles or three miles without stopping. I do 30 minutes of cardio a day and I do strength training five or six days a week. I am much more comfortable with my body. I can fit in car seats. I can walk up the stairs without being out of breath. I no longer have to shop in specific sections of the store where they have almost no clothes. Weight loss journeys are ongoing, physically and mentally. I want to continue to motivate and inspire others and help others know that no situation is hopeless and you're never really stuck. You really do have what it takes to change your life and better your life. The only person standing in between you and achieving your goals is you.